In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy your environment variables securely with a .env.vault file. Let's get started. First, a little background. We have a Hello World Node.js Express app running here. Let's just see it running locally. And we have a .env file with it, right? So we'll run it locally. Come here. It says Hello Universe. Great. Second step, let's get that deployed out. Come here and create it on Heroku. You can deploy this anywhere, render, Vercel, wherever you like to deploy. And we'll push that up to Heroku to set it up on the server for us. Okay, great, that's deployed. Let's take a look at it. We'll see it says hello undefined. This is because we haven't set that environment variable. And usually this is where you would go to Heroku, go to Vercel, go to CircleCI, and set those environment variables there. We no longer recommend that. There's been too many breaches, too many attacks. It's too risky to be scattering these secrets all over the place. Instead, we now recommend generating a .env vault file that you commit to code and one environment variable called a .env key that decrypts that just in time when your app runs on that platform on that CI server. So let's see how that works. Let's come here, go to deploying. And let's just follow the instructions. First, we need to make sure we have the latest .env. This is a new, uh, a new feature. So let's come here, install the latest, npm install .env, save. Okay, we have the latest. And now let's follow the commands. Let's run this local build command. We run that and we see it generated a .env vault file for us that has an encrypted copy of our .env file and it generated a .env keys file for us that has the .env key to decrypt that specific environment, the development environment. So let's go to the next step and it says we need to set this .env key on our server, on our platform. So let's do that now. I'll just Take a look at these key, this key. Copy that. Let's do Heroku config set .env key. We'll set that and then we will encrypt our vault file or include our vault file and let's redeploy. Now, as that's building, we can tail the logs. We'll see the build is started. And you'll see on startup that it's loading your ENV from your encrypted .env vault file. So now let's go take a look at that app. Let's refresh the page and it says hello universe. So that's it. That's how you use an ENV vault file to deploy your secrets securely on any platform anywhere. 